In this video, we'll be looking at direct and partial variation. And we'll start with a problem. You babysit on the weekends and earn $6 per hour. Your pay varies directly with time. We'll define what varies directly means in a few minutes. But first, with this information, earning $6 per hour, let's make a table of values for working from 0 to 5 hours. Let's then see if we can determine an equation for the relationship and then graph the relationship. So first let's start with the table of values. We're being asked to make a table of values for working from 0 up to 5 hours. And I know I earn $6 per hour. So if I work 0 hours, I obviously make $0. If I work one hour, I make six dollars. And so on, counting up by six until I end up making thirty dollars when I work five hours. Question B is asking me to create an equation for this relationship. How much money do I get paid based on how many hours I work. And the question tells me I get six dollars for every hour I work. So my equation would be my pay equals six dollars per hour. P equals six H. Question C is asking me to graph this relationship. So I can plot my points starting at zero zero one hour I get six dollars somewhere in here and I can keep doing that or I could just graph my first and my last point because this is a straight line relationship five and thirty and connecting the dots there's the line that models how much I get paid based on how much I work Let's look at a different question. Question D, what is the slope of the line? Remember from our previous work, slope is equal to rise over run. So here my rise is 30, my run is 5, so my slope would reduce to 6. What do you notice between the work we did previously and our calculation of slope? You should notice that the number 6 appears more than once in this question. We've calculated the slope in our equation. 6 times h was our equation and that number in front of the variable represents the slope of this relationship. Slope has a few different names that we'll use in this class. Slope is a rate of change or a constant of variation. This whole example is an example of direct variation. We can tell a relationship is direct variation if the line starts at the origin. If the line starts at the origin, we're dealing with an example of direct variation. Problem two, a catering company charges $10 per plate plus a booking fee, a flat fee of $50. Let's create a table of values, determine an equation for the relationship, and graph the relationship. So 
I'll call my variables P and C, the plates and the overall cost. And if I order up to five plates, let's see what happens. Well, if I order one plate, I have to pay $10 plus this $50 booking fee. So I pay overall $60. If I order two plates, well, my price goes up another $10 and so on. So that when I'm ordering five plates of food I have to order, I have to pay fifty dollars for my plates plus still that fifty dollar booking fee. If I order zero plates I still have to pay the fifty dollar booking fee. Companies use this to stop people from backing out of agreements. They'll charge fifty dollars to book and if you can't show up, if you order zero plates, they still have your $50. So our relationship, our cost, is equal to two things. $10 for every plate plus $50 to book. Okay, let's graph this relationship. Again, we can be smart about how we graph and graph our starting point graph our ending point and because this is a straight line relationship if we connect those two dots we've graphed our relationship, our catering company relationship and again we can use this to find the slope of the line. Slope is rise so I'm rising 50 and I'm running by 5 50 divided by 5 is 10. And again, we see that number 10 represented in our equation. The number in front of the variable is our slope. This is an example of partial variation. Notice how our graph starts at a point that isn't the origin. When our graph starts above or below the origin, we're dealing with partial variation.